So in this part of the video, we're going to put together the camera mount assembly. So this will have pan in which it will rotate the camera as well as tilt. These are parts and pieces I've gotten off of some other Thingiverse models that I've kind of modified them myself for my camera, my setup to make it all work. I'll put links to those uh, different things that I've used. Uh, but again, they, some of this has been customized along the way. So for this, I'm going to have two stepper motors. I have an arm that the camera will be mounted onto. So the camera would sit on here. Also has room on the side here for some of the bearings, roller bearings. This will be the main uh, mount for this. So this is gonna go onto here. We'll have a stepper motor onto the side, gear up top, camera sits on here. So this will rotate, this will be the tilt, and the whole thing will rotate. And the last piece, will be here, which will go underneath, which this is going to mount to think that way, because I'll have my other motor onto here, which is going to go onto here, and that will give me my rotation. So not going to go through every detail of every screw and bolt that I have here. I have a printed gear, has a space for the bearing, and I'm going to need two of those. So every time I do something that's going to rotate, I'm going to have one onto the side. I'm going to have one underneath. So you're going to have two gears along with the steppers. And it's going to go here. So I want to do a belt drive on this. I've seen other ones and I've tried other ones and they work that have a gear. Uh, and uh, just a tooth, but I didn't feel they gave me as many steps and as much of a tolerance in the rotation. And so I felt a belt drive might be a little bit better for this. So I'm hoping all of this will come together and, and work much easier. So now that I have everything assembled, took a little bit of finesse to get everything put together. Uh, as with anything, when you do 3D printing, you may want to go back, make some adjustments, make some tweaks, but at the moment I'm very happy with the way everything has gone together. As you can see, I have my motor spindle to do the tilt. I also have the exact same setup, just a little different configuration for a motor spindle to do the pan. So now we'll go through my plan for now that I have the pan, I have the tilt, I now want to have a X or a Y, however you want to look at it. I want to have it slide, but I also want to have Z. I want to be able to move this up, down, left, right, tilt, and pan. So the Z becomes always the fun part. Uh, putting this onto a slider, I could easily take this and just mount it somehow onto a slider and it will move but I want up and down. And so versus trying to raise and lower the entire slider, I'm gonna try a little different concept. Now I've taken this slider, I've done some previous videos in which I showed how I connected my own NEMA stepper motor to it to give this the camera slider attached to a motor. So that's in a previous video, link to that below. What I'm gonna do is plan on mounting this 90 degrees. So mount it in this direction and I'll show you the finished piece in a minute. I actually have two sliders. This one I have not done that but I've 3D printed a mount using the existing mounting holes that are on this plate. I had to cut out the head mount because I did have to make some spacing for this to mount onto here. 
I'm then I then have the holes for where my V slot wheels along with a plate. So I can put that plate on there, put my V slot wheels, and then put my extruded aluminum here with the Z axis. So I'm gonna move this out of the way and pull in what the final piece looks like. So here we have the final assembly using parts off of an Ender 3 uh, 3D printer. So I have my 3D printed mount onto my camera slider base. I've got that attached with a couple of three quarter inch bolts. And then I have my 2040 V slot wheels and the brackets attached on top along with this being the typically the Z axis of your 3D printer. So I'm using the spindle rod going through the rod holder, uh, no different than you'd see on any 3D printer. So what I'm planning on doing here is this is going to be mounted in this direction. This allows for side to side movement, but with the Z axis allows this to move up and down. And what I did is the opposite of what the Z axis on a 3D printer does. On a 3D printer, you want the gantry to move up and down and you want the 2040, the uh, part that's mounted to the motor to stay stationary. And I just inverted that. So I mounted the gantry plate onto my solid portion of my camera slider. And now when the stepper motor moves the gear, this entire assembly will move up and down. So this 2040 extrude aluminum moves up and down versus the camera slider moving up and down. What that also does allows me to now mount my assembly here, which should give me my up and down movement. Camera slider will be mounted, camera down here, And now this piece moves up and down while the camera slider stays stationary. So far so good. Let's move on to the next steps. Okay, so before we get on to the next stage, what I wanted to do is, let's just do a test. I've got power supply, Arduino CNC shield, Everything is connected, so I have four stepper motors. So this worked out perfectly for this CNC shield. I have it connected to the laptop running Dragon Frame so that we can test it from Dragon Frame. Mounted my Canon camera so we can do a full test all connected together. So I'm gonna turn on the power supply. So I am going to connect, make sure everything is there. It's telling me I'm not connected, so we'll check our connections. We'll get connected. And I now have my X, Y, Z, and A axis. So let's do a little bit of testing and see how this works. The X, I don't even remember which one I've connected to what, so we'll find out. So right now the X is along the slider. So that's moving this stepper motor to move that back and forth and is working just fine. Let's go with the Y. The Y is moving the camera. And you can see that that's working. The Z, I believe, is my up and down. Quite loud. I will eventually change the speed, get all the measurements on travel movement. This is simply, do I have movement and does it work with the camera mounted? 
So the last test is rotation. And there we go. So now we're on to hopefully the final phase of my initial setup. Because I guess you're never in the final phase. You're always iterating and making changes down the road. So right now, having this set up for the camera works fantastic, very happy with it. But it gives me one direction, up and down, turn, tilt. But that doesn't give me any motion across the table. So I decided, why not build a platform on the table that moves along the table? And I'm even going to add in rotation to my table assembly where I'll do the stop motion animation. So how this is going to work, I have some 40 series extruded aluminum. Now this is something that I've had. Uh, I do other hobbies and so I know not everybody's going to have this. Don't try to mimic what I'm doing. These are things I have. This is stuff I've I've uh, gathered over the years. Some of this stuff you can do out of wood, you can do out of pipes. So lots of different ways if you go out on YouTube and the internet to make your own slider. So I've made some 3D printed parts and pieces to make this work. First, I have a, what I'll call, I guess, a gantry. I've put V-slot wheels on here, and this is going to slide on here and slide back and forth. So that gives me some table movement. I've also made a few different mounts because I want to move this with a belt. So I'm going to attach a belt. I'm going to have it go end to end underneath and no different than again. If you look at a lot of your Y axis, your Z axis on your 3D printers, you've got a motor on one end, you've got a uh, roller bearing on the other end and it just slides back and forth. So I have this mount in which I'm going to put roller bearing into here. This will slide onto the end here. So I will have a bearing in here. This one will slide onto the end here. My stepper motor would go onto here along with my gear on the stepper motor. That will give me my belt drive to move this back and forth. Now the other thing I've done is I wanted to give this a little bit more stability. So when I put it here, I have taken and made some slots in here to where I can basically mount this onto my table. And I've got some uh, little nut and bolt that I'll be able to tighten that to the table. So I'll have one on each side. I've also just created some small little feet for in between so that as that is mounted to the table, I'll have a couple in the middle, again, giving it as much stability as possible. Then I am going to take and mount on top of this, oops, just knock some things over, my base plate. So this, these four, I've got some holes here, which will screw into the bottom of this board, which will mount it to the top of that carriage. What I've done here, and as you've seen with some of the assembly on the camera head, I've taken the NEMA gearbox, got links in the description, you can download that, so this I did not create, but I incorporated the NEMA gearbox with a Lazy Susan rotation uh, assembly, 3D printed some components to hold it to this base, and now this 
will give me some rotation. Now, how does that work? On top of this will be my final stop motion platform. What I have for that is this. So I've created a board, two foot by two foot, that I can mount on top of this rotation and I've 3D printed some roller wheels. Those wheels will ride around the outside of this and all of that is for stability. Not really for, is it gonna turn, but it's any weight you put on it. If you have weight to one side versus the other side, you don't get quite the, the stability. So this will go on top here with my roller wheels that will help it stay stable as the whole thing moves, as the camera can go back and forth, this can rotate. So I'm gonna go through all this, get it all put together and assembled, try to take some pictures along the way so you can just view it that way as I'm putting it together. And we're gonna come back to look at the final assembly. Okay, so here we are with the motion platform that I have finally gotten assembled. I've added a few stabilizer rollers to keep it a little better balanced. But we're here to do our first test, the movement and rotation to see if all of that is working. So first off, we'll do the x-axis, which is what I have hooked up for the table to move. And there we have movement of the table. Again, this will be stop motion, so it's just going to slowly, but I have that movement. Now we're going to go back. We're going to do the y-axis, which will be the rotate. rotation so at the moment all of this now will get put together with the overhead camera so I'll have movement of the camera up down pan tilt movement of the table and rotation we're gonna have to see how all of that comes together within dragon frame to start doing some stop motion animation.